Welcome to another simple engineering snippet. In this snippet, we will be calculating the heat transfer from a flat plate due to forced convection. I hope you find it informative. Air at 70 degrees Fahrenheit and 14.7 PSIA flows over a flat plate at 100 feet per second. Assuming unit depth in the Z direction, calculate the heat transfer from the plate. We will obtain the necessary air properties from the film temperature calculated here. We then can look up or calculate the necessary properties. Let's calculate the Reynolds number. We have all the necessary air properties and we will use the overall length of the plate. Let's check the units. Clearly we need a conversion factor to convert from hours to seconds. Reynolds number is 1.39 times 10 to the 6, which indicates that at the end of the plate there will be turbulent flow. And these types of convection problems, half the battle is choosing the correct correlation. There is often more than one that can be applied correctly. Unfortunately, there are also many that will be incorrect. We will use the one indicated, which is for an average Nusselt number over the length of the plate. Once we have calculated the average Nusselt number, we can solve for the average convective heat transfer coefficient. These calculations are provided here. Now that we have the average convective heat transfer coefficient, we can use Newton's Law of Cooling to solve for the heat transfer from the plate. Please keep in mind that this is the convective heat transfer from the top of the plate. I hope you found this quick example useful. If so, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.